on the menu today is a hearty stick to your ribs baked Greek pasta dish. It's actually a macaronopita mekima or Greek, uh, Greek meat sauce and pasta, the nice thick noodles. In between a couple of layers of puff pastry with like ooey gooey cheese in the middle and it is going to knock your socks off. So let's get right to this. First things first, I'm just going to fire up this here to start browning off my meat. But before I do, I'm going to preheat my oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going and that way we're off to the races. So for this recipe, I've got one pound of lean ground beef and very simply, I'm going to take some of my Greek extra virgin olive oil and for this I will do probably a quarter cup or so of my olive oil will go in there and then just slowly start breaking this in there and there's that lovely sizzle absolutely gorgeous fantastic perfect now the next thing in this is a little onion and for this, you can chop it, you can slice it, you can do whatever you want. By the way, I've got my pasta water already boiling, so might as well get the, drop my pasta in because this recipe really doesn't take long at all. I'm going to salt my water fairly generously, and then I'm going to take my noodles. The noodles I'm using today are the thicker noodles. They are what we use for pastizzo as well which is a nice, you know, a nice hole in it. They're going to become twice the size. This is absolutely fantastic. So this is like a 500 gram package. I'm going to be using about 300 grams, give or take, of pasta. Now, this is a Greek-inspired recipe, so there will be no al dente anything in this. My noodles are going to get like, I'm going to boil the Jesus out of my noodles, just the way it is. I'm going to chop up an onion. And for this, one onion will work just fine. Now, if you want to chop up an onion, cut three quarters of the way through like this. And then just down. And you're going to get a really fine uh, cut or chop. Then just take this and just real easy. Nothing to this. Just put them in there like that. The next thing, seasoning. I want to do a little bit of salt. Now, because there's going to be cheese going into this, you want to take it easy on the, on the salt. You don't want to go too overboard. I'm going to do a little black pepper, a little chili flakes. I like a little bit of heat. This is totally optional for you. You can put as much or as little as you want. Totally, or just leave it out completely. I wish you guys can smell it in here. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, to build up our flavor story, I'm going to take one clove of garlic. So all I'm going to do is just real quick, just smash these up with your knife and just cut them up just like that. Perfect. Garlic going in. The next thing now that i like to add is my flavor profile and that is a teaspoon of cinnamon is going to go in here next thing is half a teaspoon of clove is going to go in actually hold the line i forgot one more one more key ingredient which is a teaspoon of cumin is going to go in this and of course, next, a little bit of my dried Greek oregano, maybe a teaspoon, as much as, as much as you like, will go into this. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm putting in all my herbs and spices now, I want maximum flavor in this. And sometimes what happens is if you've got your um, spices and herbs and different things sitting in your uh, cabinet or your drawer for like, you know, a few weeks, they tend to kind of dumb down their flavor by bringing them into this heat rather than the liquid heat. It brings up more of their oils and it makes it a more intense flavor. The next thing is two cups of crushed 
tomatoes are going to go in here like that and about half a cup of water to just kind of get things going loosen things up so boom just like that there we go now we're like doing something here so that's going to go in there so i got one thing here i'm just going to cut it in half and i'm just going to leave this half here i'm going to take a little bit of flour for my work surface and you don't need much for this just a light scattering just where you're going to be uh, working that's perfect right there i got one of these little things here it's like a it's like a mini rolling pin and it works actually really great it's it's for the smaller jobs and it does such an amazing job of rolling doughs out and puff pastries and whatnot so now i'm just going to take this I'm going to place it in the bottom of my pan, just like this. So now my sauce is done. My pasta is sufficiently overcooked, so that's good. The bottom of my pita is in the pan. Time to do the next step, which is getting other stuff done. So for this, look at this. I got like bowls coming out of the yin-yang, man. It is insane. So here, I've got this. So I've got a bowl here. I'm also going to need a colander for my pasta. I'm going to get that there as well. And just move this here. Now I am also going to need gloves because I am not that brave. So I'm going to strain my pasta, get that cooling and put that into our bowl i want my pasta in there just like that now the next thing i want is my sauce and i like to go generous on my sauce here i like it to be everywhere now the next step i'm going to take about 100, 120 grams of feta, and I am gonna crumble the feta into this. I know, I know. Every bite will be like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's the feta. Oh, I got a little heat there from the chili peppers. Oh, I get a little spice. So just give this a stir here. The feta will melt. It will add a certain brininess to this. Now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move this here like that actually i'm going to do this like this so you guys can get a better view just like that and i'm going to take this and slowly just pour it in here yeah baby yeah baby just spread it around to all the corners just like that and i'm gonna grate a little raviera over this before i seal it up so i'm just gonna take let me find my grater here there we go this will work this will work just fine and all you're gonna do is just start grating raviera all over this the top and this is as much as you like or not like although i can't imagine you not liking like raviera on pasta and if you don't just don't tell me about it <laughs> it's like really really good so my guess is about 50 60 grams give or take take this now take this take this and you may get a little flour on you not a big deal at all not a biggie at all and just roll this out same deal just like the other one the first one on the bottom so now i'm going to take this i'm going to fold this over like this bring my pan in here so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on and i'm going to take this move this over like this bring this over so it's just 
as, as center as you can get it and just tuck it in around the pasta. See what I mean? Just tuck it around just like this. There's one more little step, one more little step. You're going to cut some slits into this, maybe six, five, six, seven. So the pressure can escape when this is like baking off because you don't want this thing tenting on you. And all of a sudden that's not the, what we want. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water real quick over the top, just like that. And top water is fine. You don't have to use holy water. And just uh, do this real quick. Boom. Just a little bit of moisture. So now, my friends, this is ready to go into our 400 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the, the puff pastry you see is GBD, golden brown and delicious. <laughs> <Other one. sighs> my God, just out of the oven, about 10 minutes. I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it just like that, right down the middle. I'm going to take a little piece of this here. This is want to try it, basically. Now, let's see what's, let's see what's going on here. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my God, if you could smell that. If you could only smell that whole macaroni. There's a bite right there. Hotter than sin, but this is so worth it. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. If you're going to break your diet, if you're going to cheat, this is the recipe to do it. Now, for the nutritional information of this, Basically, strap a treadmill to your ass and go until you pass out. That's what this is. Forget the calorie counts. Forget the diets to this. This is all about pure play indulgence, my friends. So that's it for this episode on my uh, Greek or Greek up kimadopita uh, with uh, or makaronopita me kima. It is... A definitely must try. It's not that complicated at all. Hope you like this video. Please hit that like button. If you did, consider subscribing to keep up to what I'm doing and all my uploads and hit that little like little bell button up top so you get notified of every time I upload for this recipe and so many others. Also, check me out online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, I really thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.